Welcome to Restaurant Hunter, where we're tracking down the best places to eat on the island. I'm Rob Patron. This half hour, we're taking you where the cool kids hang. And by that, I don't mean stuffy, pretentious spots. I'm talking about places where people with good taste in food like to kick back and eat and drink. Places that often come up in conversation as being must try for one reason or another. Like our first stop, J.A. Hennigan's Tavern in Point Lookout. <laughs> Looks can be deceiving. Take J.A. Hennigan's Tavern in Point Lookout. Is this a run-of-the-mill pub? Well, you can get a burger here, but have you seen what else they're serving? The quality of the food, the presentation. I have fun with the small, sexy little plates. Nicole Rourke is Hennigan's executive chef. I'm very classic French, but you see my Italian grandma in there. Her boss is this guy, Jack Hennigan. He co-owns the place along with his brothers, James and Kevin none of which had ever run a restaurant. Their expertise? Just, just on the eating end. <laughs> but Jack, a Point Lookout resident for more than 20 years, knew what the area needed. A casual pub in the front with more sophisticated dining in the back. A, you know, find a dining experience without having to go too far. Enter Nicole. I was teaching, actually, at a culinary academy um, on Long Island. Her uncle, um, is a good friend of ours. I got a phone call like, what are you doing these days? Oh, I'm teaching. Well, then you might not be interested, but if you are, I know this great family opening up a brand new restaurant. It was like the dream come true just came out of his mouth, so. Nicole was probably the first uh, chef that, uh, you know, we interviewed. So how'd she win you over? Well, I mean, uh, first of all, my brother and I have 14 kids and a lot of daughters uh, uh, amongst them. Uh, so she really impressed us right off the bat with uh, how direct she was, you know, her assertiveness, her passion, and uh, we were blown away by her food. Everything is made in-house. Nothing's frozen, nothing's store-bought, it's not made in a factory. She isn't kidding. There's not even a freezer to be found inside Nicole's kitchen. Her commitment to freshness is evident in everything from an arugula salad to kids' mac and cheese. Yep, scratch cooking isn't just for the grown-ups. We're making a bechamel, which is a classic, you know, uh, white sauce. Um, and then we're adding shredded cheddar and mozzarella and parmesan and, you know, cloves and bay leaves so the adults can enjoy it too. And, you know, it's certainly not... So usually the adults order an entree and they share a little with their kids. This is the one where the kids order it and the adults say, actually, <laughs> what's that over there, Tommy? <laughs> yeah, ex exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, and we have fun with it. We serve it in like a little skillet. So oh, the, isn't that adorbs? The, the kids go like, oh, it's served in a pan, you know, like, and, you know, we get a kick out of it. Nicole also gets a kick out of apps, like her crab and artichoke dip. I'm a dip girl. I love, if I saw a spinach and artichoke dip on a menu, I would get that. I wanted it to be warm and satisfying. Um, I figured, you know, okay, what plays well with artichokes, you know, and since we're in Point Lookout, which is, you know, just surrounded by the water, immediately crab. And soups. French onion soup here isn't just French onion soup. No, it's French five onion soup. And New England clam chowder is as pretty and tasty as any on the island. I love making soups. I always have. I, I always have. I really, um, it, it's a way to, as a chef, use ingredients and, and to constantly be creating. But enough with the lighter fare. There's hearty rustic meals to be had, like Jameson braised beef short ribs. Being in the Hennigans, you know, with the Irish pub feel, I figured instead of just doing a red wine or a sherry, let's uh, let's spice it up, a little Irish whiskey. So who doesn't like Jameson? I get the short ribs, beautiful three inch on the bone. All right, you always got to throw a little flour, salt and pepper on there, pat it off. This way there's no excess flour to burn. You get a nice crust them. on them too when you see yes, it. Yes, exactly. We sear them, get a nice crust. And then in that hot pan, of course, a mirepoix, basic mirepoix, onions, carrots, celery, throw in a little shallot, um, deglaze with a bit of red wine, that Jameson we mentioned, tomatoes, so the short ribs back in. But do you take Three a hours. swig while you're... Chris, who doesn't? <laughs> It's the best part. No. <laughs> We're kidding. <laughs> so, I think. Yeah. <laughs> 
So three hours later, they're succulent and they're falling off the bone. And um, the servers will ask me, you know, should I put a knife on the table? I said, don't, don't do that. You no. don't have to do don't that. Don't eat it. Flick. Don't eat. So by now, you know I'm going to be eating this, but I won't be eating alone. Since I'm at a tavern, I thought who better to dine with than a local brewmaster, as cool a gig as one could have. Enter Rick Sabatka, founder of Bayshore's own Great South Bay Brewery. This is a treat, Rick. Uh, it certainly is. You're welcome, by the way. Well, thank you for having me. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, <laughs> uh, Jameson Bray's short rib. Uh, well, and I was telling you, short rib is, you know, one of my mm. favorite entrees ever. I'm really oh. excited. You don't even need a, mm. a knife. You can just get in there with your fork. Just this beautiful, tender, fall off the bone meat. Just, oh wow. Mm. Mm. You know it's good when you make a mess. <laughs> mm. It's fantastic. It's delicious. You can taste a little bit of Jameson. Mm, yeah, absolutely. And it's just this hearty, hearty, Very hearty. dish that Mm. I think would pair well, pair well with a great South Bay beer. I think so too. Mm, cheers. Cheers. Mm. So what do we have here? This is our winter ale. It's called Sleigh Ride. It's a red rye mm. ale with juniper berries. So we brew it with rye malt, which gives it that kind of like uh, spiciness, maltiness to it. And then we put a quite amount of juniper berries in it. And juniper berries, some kind of give it that gin feel. They give it a little more extra kick. But uh, it does. We have this paired on our website with braised venison. So this is braised Not that far off. And it's perfect. a very drinkable beer. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's, it's quite popular. It's got a body, but it's smooth. Yeah, you know, uh, it, it looks very dark, but it's uh, really, it's, mm. it's a red ale. A little roasty, mostly malty and just a nice finish, very smooth. Very nice, and you must feel, must make you happy to see your product in an establishment like this. Oh, it really does, and uh, you know, certainly any place that has incredible food like this and pairing it with our beer is, is special, and we're grateful for that. <laughs> I'm grateful to be eating and drinking like this. Me too, wow. Mm. The name J.A. Hennigan's Tavern pays homage to Jack and his brother's late father, an FDNY veteran, only fitting. A family reference for a place that makes you feel like family. People, very friendly and warm, and uh, it's just a great night out when I come here. I really enjoy it. This is kind of like a local place, and by the end of the night, I probably know 90% of the people here, so it's a way to catch up. How proud are you of this restaurant? Wow. Um, I could start crying right now if I wasn't on camera. <laughs> I, I, I'm I very honored to work here. I, the, the Hennigans are a fantastic family. And from day one, they've treated me just like a part of their family. And I feel that. <laughs> Every day I feel like I'm, I'm coming to my second family or my second home. So <laughs> it's you really that kidding. good. You really are getting You, you need a hug? I, I, love, Come yeah. here. <laughs> I, really, I really love it here. And with food like this, you will too. And if you want to come out to Hennigan's, keep in mind during the winter they are closed on Tuesdays and only open for lunch on the weekends.